Hello, I'm Teresa E. Mintel, President and CEO of the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce. I'm here today with Rick Waddell, Chairman and CEO of the Northern Trust Company in the Chicago Magazine studio. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Teresa. So nice to have you here. The Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce is pleased to honor Rick with the 24th Daniel H. Burnham Award for Distinguished Leadership. As a charter member of the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce in 1904, the Northern Trust Company has been there with us since the very beginning, and they've also been a legacy company here in Chicago for 125 years. Thank you for being with us today, Rick. Thank you, Teresa. We certainly appreciate your support, and as you know, the Burnham Award was created by our board of directors to honor a prominent business leader for all the work they do, not only in the business community, but in Chicago civic community as well. Tell us a little bit about why giving back is so important here in Chicago. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for the, what a great honor to be even considered in the same breath as Daniel Burnham is, uh, is really meaningful. And uh, Daniel Burnham once said, uh, to love one city and to be a part in its development is the greatest privilege and duty of a citizen. And I think at Northern Trust, uh, certainly, the CEOs and the many, many leaders at our company that have been a part of the history of this great city and growing it. Uh, and for me to be uh, a part of that legacy, uh, I'm just truly honored to be here tonight. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. We're happy to have you. Now, you have quite a reputation for being a philanthropic leader in our community. Uh, and it's very important in Chicago. As you know, we have a, a global reputation for the way our business leaders give back to our city. What would you say to a, a business leader who might be newly arriving to Chicago about how they can give back to our community? Well, the first thing I'd say is recognize that uh, the people of Chicago are extraordinarily generous. Uh, uh, a study commissioned by the Chicago Community Trust for its 100th, uh, coming, upcoming 100th anniversary shows that <clears throat> average Chicagoans give significantly more than average U.S. households. Uh, at all levels, whether it's $25 or over $1,000, on average, uh, by a third, high, uh, Chicagoans give more uh, than uh, U.S. citizens. So there's a very strong cultural base of giving that uh, is part of our, uh, the legacy of our great city. So I'd say leverage that. Uh, number two is get involved. We have lots of organizations, cultural, not-for-profit, civic, uh, social service, there are tremendous needs that our uh, city has, so I'd say get involved, roll your sleeves up, and be part of the solution. I love that spirit, and it really does exemplify what Daniel H. Burnham was all about with Make No Little Plans. What we've learned with this award is that our civic leaders and business leaders take the opportunity to really talk about their passion. Now, you've talked about philanthropy already, and it's been a long-time commitment for you, but let's go a little bit deeper. How do you actually get your employees involved as well? Well, we engage them. We give them opportunities. In fact, uh, several years ago, we gave two paid days off for all of our employees to give to volunteer at qualifying organizations that of our interest to them. So mm -hmm. we actually give them uh, time off in order to participate. Uh, we also have uh, the United Way is, is our uh, major corporate philanthropy and uh, I'm going to be part of the dunk tank. Uh, so uh, we, we kind of show by being visible and, and participating. Uh, I participate in Days of Caring uh, with teams of Northern Trust employees where we go and uh, hand out food or we painted uh, uh, at La Casa Norte. Uh, nice. Uh, we painted uh, the inside of a, of a home, uh, a, a new home that they acquired for uh, disadvantaged teenagers. So it's about being engaged and actually showing up and, and rolling your sleeves up and getting engaged in the work and, and getting your people around you to participate in that. Rick, Northern Trust was one of the charter members of the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce in 1904. We went on then to be a charter member of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce a couple years later. Today we actually have chambers from all over the region who are partners with us, serving communities as well as businesses, small, medium, and large. Since you've been around with us for so long, tell us a little bit about how important chambers are to the civic fabric of a city. Well, we joined the Chamber of Commerce when Northern Trust was 15 years old. We were founded in 1889, and we've been proud to support your efforts. You know, associations like the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce are extraordinarily important to the economic vibrancy of, of any city, and especially this city, Chicago. 
Uh, the, the chamber represents over a thousand companies with over 400,000 employees and uh, with a social, a, a fiscal impact of $24 billion. So the work that the uh, Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce does has a tremendously positive impact. And in today's environment, we need associations coming together, businesses uh, cooperating, talking, working public-private par partnerships in order to make our economy stronger and more vibrant. I can't think of anything, any higher calling than what the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce does in terms of that economic impact and that effort to make Chicago a greater community. Well, thank you, Rick. I couldn't have said that better myself. And thank you for being with us here today. We are so excited to have you as this year's Daniel H. Burnham honoree. We greatly appreciate the support of the Northern Trust Company, and we look forward to honoring you at our dinner on November 3rd at the Hilton Chicago. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to it. And again, it's a great honor. Thank you.